Welcome everybody to this edition of Attention Talk Video. I'm your host, ADHD and Attention Coach, Jeff Copper. Today I'm here to uh, take a look at a little bit at organizing. I was, uh, I was doing some research on another project that I was doing. I was stumbled into um, some literature on organizing and I was reading through it and there's something that struck me. Um, I'm all about ahas and insights. It really just had never occurred to me, but the notion that uh, organizing is time consuming. Ever thought about that? It takes a lot of time to put everything back to where it's supposed to be or put it in its place in order to find it when you need it. It's time consuming, it's boring. A lot of people I've coached with ADHD don't allot time. Uh, they don't find time, they don't make time, they don't realize the time that it takes in order to be organized. Now, we'll say there's a cost benefit analysis on organization is sometimes. <clears throat> Um, it's better not to be as organized. And the way I describe this is uh, assuming that you would get bills in the mail, like the old days. You know, you could be organized by paying the bill and filing the bill in a file, in a drawer, in a cabinet, um, in chronological order. If you have a problem and you need to find that bill, you know exactly where to go. Thing about it is, if you never need to get the bill, all that time and effort was wasted, it was useless. Alternatively, you could pay a bill and just put it on a pile on the floor. Not a lot of time spent on that. Problem with that is if you have a problem with the bill and you got to go find it, it takes time consuming to go get it. The good news, though, is if you never have to reference it, you saved all that time. So when you take a look at organization, sometimes there's a cost benefit analysis on this. Sometimes you can spend a lot of time getting organized for reasons that you would never use. And other times, um, organization might not look very well because why spend a lot of time organizing if you don't really need to go get it? That's what I call a cost benefit. And sometimes there's like a hybrid. Like for me, I actually pay my bills and um, I put them in a box and just basically as I pay them. They're kind of chronological. They're all sorted. But if I got to find something and it's a couple months, I just grab the file, lift it up and get to the relative area and then I, I find it. So what I do is I kind of have a hybrid system. It's easy to drop it in the box. It's a little bit not as easy finding it, but it's, it's better than going through a huge pile. The point of the video, again, is to recognize that organization is time consuming. And sometimes you need to think about, is it really worth the time? A lot of people with ADHD take shortcuts. Um, sometimes it's actually a bit more productive. It's not as aesthetically pleasing to many people, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's, that is productive. And a lot of people with ADHD spend a lot of time and effort trying to get organized on things that they'll probably never use. So this is where you have to pause and think about what you're doing, have a little bit of self-awareness. So I hope this is giving you some insight, some pause to think about what you're doing, some self-awareness. Um, for those that are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button. We release a new video like this each week to try to give you tips, tricks, strategies, mindsets, and ways to problem solve. Um, if you like what we do, please hit the um, thanks button below. Um, we certainly love contributions for what we do. Um, this channel is totally supported by me and my time and effort and what I have to pay my uh, administrative people do to put it together. So we love that. Also, please comment. Always interested in what our viewers think, uh, insights, thoughts. Sometimes you have great examples, lived experiences, and sometimes you have great material for other videos. So with that, we hope you've enjoyed this. Take care.